everybody, this is Aaron at Ag Diesel Solutions. So today we're getting ready to do an install on a repeat customer with a John Deere 8345R tractor. This is the nine liter tier four final engine. Uh, the installation process is for the 2804F module, which is also the same as the 2804 for the interim tier four series tractors. We're gonna go over a few of the connection points. Yeah, you've seen this install done on an S670, but not on a tractor, a few of the attachments. And components on the filtration system are a little bit different on tractors, so we'll show you specifically where to go to for that. A few uh, key tips here for this install, you're going to need a 19 millimeter socket. You're also going to need a 15 millimeter socket and a flathead screwdriver to help release the clips on the map sensor and the injector connector. With this module, you should expect to see anywhere from 10 to 20 percent fuel savings and up to 30 percent more horsepower. This is our injector driver module. Stay tuned for this installation process. We're now ready to work on the injector portion of our harness. Uh, you will be removing the factory injector connector. As you can see, it's located up in here by this filtration system, uh, right behind this breather tube. It's up in here. That is gonna be a female connector going into the male portion on the engine. As you can see, our connectors are very similar. We use factory OEM connectors. Uh, some of these injector connectors on the factory engine harness have a red locking tab. That will need to be pulled back in order to gain access to that clip to release it from the engine. Uh, we've already got that red locking tab pulled back, so all we got to do is release it by pushing down as a similar aspect on this connector here. Both principles apply. So we'll go ahead and press down on that tab. Now, as you can see here, the connector is removed. So we'll go ahead and take our female portion from our harness and plug it in there. Make sure it lat latches and secures properly. Flashlight also helps to see where you're at. There we go, we're in line. Here we go, you heard it click. Make sure all your connection points always latch. We'll go ahead and take the female engine harness and plug in the male portion on our harness. As you can see, that red locking tab is here. Once that's uh, latched, go ahead and put that in there to secure it to keep that from coming loose. Uh, following, we'll get a different camera angle and we'll show you guys how to route the map sensor portion of the harness and connect that as well. We're now ready to install the map sensor portion of our harness. Uh, if you watch our video on our S670 for this install, it's in the same location. Uh, but there will be two connectors. You can also see that in your install instructions. There will be one at an angle and one standing upright. The one upright is going to be your map sensor. The same principles apply for releasing that tab. It may have a red locking tab on it that needs to be pulled back to allow that latch to come undone. Uh, it will also be a female connector going to, into a male portion on the engine. So we've got that somewhat released, so just release it with your finger on the clip and it should come out. So we will go ahead and take the female portion of our harness to go in place of that. And you heard it snap and then be sure to take here it went snapped. Be sure to take that red locking tab and push down to lock it in. That way it can't go anywhere and then take the factory female portion of the engine harness and go into the male portion of our harness. And you heard that click, it's secure. Uh, just to go through a few things on these uh, 8R tractors and some of the 7Rs, the engine compartments are a lot tighter than it is in one of combine. So a lot of the components are tight, uh, but just looking here, coming from that injector connector going up, we routed the wiring harness up here through this filtration system, and then we routed it down along the factory wiring loom close to the engine. Make sure to keep it away from any tubing coming from the turbochargers or the intercooler. We don't want anything to get hot. Make sure it's away and it's got a good air gap there. And then uh, we also routed our power and ground straps up in the same location with that map sensor. So we'll go ahead, if you see here, there's factory wiring harnesses coming along the engine. We're gonna route that up and along this bracket, right on the other side of the turbo, we'll route along the factory wiring harness and then go straight down the other side. Uh, we'll touch base on that too with the power and ground straps, how to keep it away from the exhaust manifold and the EGR cooler to avoid it from overheating. So stay tuned for that as well. We've now got the power and ground strap routed over the engine in a safe location away from the exhaust manifold and EGR cooler. Uh, as you can see here, we'll route it down along the factory engine harness going to the power and ground locations on the starter. Uh, in order to remove this nut, 
on the starter. That is a 19 millimeter. That's where it comes into play. And then the ground bolt is going to be a 15 millimeter. That's just a mounting bolt on the starter. So if you take this bolt off, most of the time you'll see that it's a bare metal on the back side of that bolt and as well as going to the starter. Uh, if not, just take some sandpaper or a little scuff pad and get that clean. You want to have a good ground source. That's very crucial uh, in the installation or performance of these modules. So we've got these loose. We'll go ahead and And remove these. You see, we got that on there. Go ahead and put everything back together. And it will finish the install process for this JD2804F module and this 9 liter final tier 4 tractor.